So you guys know that Tulsi Gabbard uh, is suing Hillary Clinton for defamation. Hillary Clinton accused Tulsi Gabbard, a veteran, of being a Russian asset. Um, there was no evidence of this whatsoever. And uh, Tulsi's making the case that that is defamation of character. That's a damaging thing said about a person um, with malicious intent. That's what Tulsi will have to prove in a court of law. And Tulsi is suing Hillary Clinton for what Hillary did. And, uh, you know, but before we get into what's going on uh, right now uh, with an update here, some people were tweeting about this and, and, and they were on the Clinton side and they said, look, if you've given money to Tulsi's campaign, know that this is what Tulsi's using it for. Let that sink in. This is what she's using it for. And uh, I had to reflect on that. And I, I do think that's an important point. Now, I have given money to the Tulsi Gabbard campaign. I've always been uh, very upfront about who I've given to. I have given to Bernie Sanders. I have given to Tulsi Gabbard. And I've given to Mike Ravel. Those are the three uh, 2020 uh, nominees. And, you know, Mike Gravel not in the race anymore. But those are the three nominees that I uh, gave money to. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard, Bernie Sanders, Mike Gravel. And uh, before Tulsi Gabbard did this, I was glad I gave money to her campaign. Um, you know, I was glad I did that. I thought, you know, she has a perspective that I think is important. I want to see her up there. Um, I'm hoping she's Bernie's VP pick. That's what that's the ticket I'm hoping for. And uh, I was glad I gave money to Tulsi's campaign. I got to be honest with you guys. My perspective has changed. I went from being glad that I gave money to Tulsi's campaign to being really glad. <laughs> <laughs> to being really glad I gave money to Tulsi's campaign because you know what? What the Clintons do and, and the stronghold the Clintons have, not just on the Democratic Party, but on our politics in general, it needs to end. It, it, it should have never happened. But, but, you know, the real damage the Clintons have caused to our politics, I don't even think we have felt the full effect yet. Similar to how we haven't felt the full effects of the George W. Bush administration. You know, the, the way they hijacked, they dragged the Democratic Party to the right uh, in, in, in a, a very extreme way. They hijacked our process. They, they got Donald Trump through the Pied Piper strategy. They kneecapped Bernie Sanders. I mean, basically everything we're seeing now, you can trace it back to the Clintons. And you kind of wonder, gee, had we had a stronger candidate than Al Gore, which again was part of that whole era of the new Democrats. We're, we're, we're the conservative ones. That's what that meant. That's what that was code for. You know, this post Reagan, we're going to meet you in the right Democratic Party that Bill Clinton ushered in. And then people overlooked it because he, he was a cool guy with the saxophone. And so this stronghold needs to end. And when you see people standing up, that's a good thing. Now, I, now I think uh, Tulsi Gabbard needs to go for the W here. I think it needs to be more than just a symbolic act. She really needs to go for the win. This lawsuit's not going to be easy. We all know that, um, you know, especially since, look, this is the Clintons. They got the resources to get the best legal team money can buy. And, you know, they will. But, um, but she needs to go for the W here because, you know, should she win this lawsuit, you know, that's really saying, look, this this kind of uh, this kind of Russia phobia, this kind of um, disinfo propaganda mongering. We're not going to tolerate it anymore. You can't just defame somebody's character like that. And by the way, you know, keep in mind, uh, defamation not protected by free speech laws. That's a violation of free speech laws. Uh, but here's an update. Look at this. Hillary Clinton refuses to be served by Tulsi Gabbard's defamation lawsuit. Hillary Clinton has now twice snubbed a process server attempting to deliver the defamation lawsuit filed against her by Democratic presidential candidate Tulsi Gabbard. I think it rather unbelievable that Hillary Clinton is so intimidated by Tulsi Gabbard that she won't accept service of process. Uh, this is what uh, the Tulsi Gabbard's attorney, Brian Dunn, told the Post, but I guess here we are. Uh, Dunn said the process server first attempted to to affect service at the Clinton's house in, in Chappaqua 
on Tuesday afternoon, but was turned away by Secret Service agents. The agents directed the server to Clinton's lawyer, David Kendall, who on Wednesday claimed at his Washington, D.C. firm, Williams & Conley, that he was unable to accept service on Clinton's behalf. Hey, go see the attorney. The attorney says, no, I can't accept that. Interesting. Interesting. So somebody tweeted this when I, you know, you know, for everything I do on Get Your News On with Ron, I, of course, tweet the articles out ahead of time. I think a, a lot of you guys know that. Uh, somebody had this to say about it. Check this out. Uh, so I tweeted out the article, and this guy, Tony D, said, this is unacceptable. The Secret Service is charged with protecting people from threats, not legal accountability. They've been pulling this shit to protect Trump's criminal spawn, too. Tulsi Gabbard needs to sue the Secret Service for abusing their authority. Interesting take. Interesting take. But I like that. We're, we're, you know, they're basically just saying, and I don't know if she should try to, I, you know, I, I'd say stick with this lawsuit, but, you know, they're pointing out, look, the Secret Service is not supposed to protect you from legal liabilities or, or, or you know, legal uh, issues you have may, you may have brought on yourself. They're there to protect you from threats. So interesting take there. I appreciate that. And, and look, Hillary, Hillary Clinton, when it comes to Donald Trump, keeps saying how nobody's above the law. Well, doesn't that apply to her, too? It's weird how, how, you know, the Clintons have these exceptions, and it's when it's them. You know, we need to believe all women, unless you have something to say about Joe Biden or Bill Clinton. Which, by the way, quick aside, thank you guys so much for sharing my uh, Love Me, I'm a Liberal music video. Um, a lot of you guys have shared it. A lot of you guys have tweeted it. I appreciate that so much. If you haven't checked it out yet, please consider checking it out. I made a music video for, uh, my reworking of the song, love me. I'm a liberal. And, uh, there's a line in there about the Clintons. Please do check it out. Uh, you can find it over on my YouTube page. It's just, uh, Ron Flacco and love me. I'm a liberal. And, uh, I appreciate all you guys who have, uh, given some feedback and, uh, shared that video. So thank you so much for doing that. But anyway, interesting here. You're not above the law, Hillary Clinton. You're not above the law. In fact, uh, my friend, uh, my friend and colleague Fiorello from the Convo Couch tweeted that out. She she tweeted it out and she said, "Isn't I thought nobody was above the law, Hillary? I thought nobody was above the law, but she won't allow them to serve that lawsuit." Interesting. They went to Hillary Clinton. Clinton said, "Go to the attorney." The attorney said, "I can't accept that. We're gonna send you around in circles." So interesting. If it's such a bogus lawsuit, why don't you just accept it? If it's so bogus, if it if it has no merit, if it's so ridiculous, which is what they've said about it so far, well, why don't you just accept it? Why don't you call the blo or you know call it? You know, if you think that it's phony, if you think they're just bluffing, if you think this is just an intention grab, why don't you quote call the bluff? Why not? Interesting interesting get your news on with ron don't you want to know what's going on we're getting our news on today get your news on with ron don't you want to know what's going on we're getting our news on today yeah, yeah, yeah. you can tweet me an article at ron Placone. we'll go through it together 